Okay guys, this is a good video. I'm sharing nine things I'm currently obsessed with and I am not exaggerating when I'm saying that word. Like I'm literally obsessed with these things. I either use them every day or I do this every day. I'll be sharing a muffin mug recipe that is so simple and easy and delicious. Uh, clothes, a couple beauty products, uh, even a couple TV shows that I know you guys would love and I bet you don't even know is out there. So everything that I talk about, I will have linked down below in the description box and I'll also pin everything in the comment section. So most of the things in this video I've actually never shared before. I've been making a little list, you know, saving things up for this video. But number one, I've definitely talked about before. It's necessaire. I've teamed up with them for this video because I'm obsessed with them. And I know you guys are too. Anytime I talk about necessaire, you guys go wild just like me. And so they gave me a promo code. It is Shay for 15% off your entire purchase. So you can order or reorder whatever you want. It'll work on everything. Um, you can stock up on your favorites or maybe try something new. I wanna share my two personal favorite things that I use every single day. I'm not exaggerating. First, the body wash. This, this is, probably my favorite thing, maybe. I mean, this body wash is the best of the best. I have them in all of my showers. I've got my friends and my family hooked on it. Um, I really recommend the eucalyptus scent, which I'm not even a big fragrance person, but this just smells so real and natural. I mean, all of their product, just so you know, very clean, very healthy, no bad ingredients. Like I love this brand for a lot of other reasons, but this is such a good um, body wash. They have sandalwood, bergamot, eucalyptus, and they also have a fragrance free option. And this just has like omegas and vitamins and niacinamide, like it's just so good for your skin. So that's number one. But then, I don't know, I really like the body lotion, which is shocking because I'm not a lotion person. Like this is the only lotion I will put on my body. And this is fragrance free. I think that's the main reason I love it because it doesn't smell like anything and it's not sticky and gross and it is winter right now. So I just feel like I'm extra dry, especially my legs, even my arms. And this is all I will use. Um, but it also has so many vitamins. Again, some niacinamide. It gives you 48 hours of continuous moisturization. So when you use it, you feel like you're not having to keep slathering it on for like over and over again. Like it's just so good. So anyway, again, my promo code Shay will work for a lot of other things. Like a lot of people love their body serum. Like that's a bestseller. There's, there's a lot. So I will have them linked down below, put Shay um, at checkout and you'll get 15% off your purchase. So the next item is kind of a last minute addition. I added it because it works so good with the body lotion, um, but it actually is this body shimmer. So it's a really good price. I just got it on Amazon and in the winter time, I really only use it if we're like going on a date night or something like that, but in the summer, Oh my gosh, does it look amazing with a swimsuit if you're outside and like the sun's hitting your skin. This is, it's like body shimmer. It's not glitter. It's like a shimmer. So th the way I would recommend doing it is put on a little bit of lotion first. That just gives your skin just a teeny bit of grip. And then if you notice, this has like a puff at the end and it comes with three different shades. One is more of like a bronzy shade. Another is more of like a rose gold shade. And then the last is this like white shimmer, which this is definitely my least favorite. I like never really use this one. I feel like it could be good depending on your skin tone. Um, but my two favorites are this and I will just run it over my decollete, like this area, rub it in. I'll even use it on my arms if it's like in the spring or the summer. And it just makes your skin look fabulous. It is amazing. And so I wanted to share this because together, just chef's kiss. Okay, let's move on to some clothing pieces. I'm just never taking off my body. Like every single day I am wearing this exact same outfit. I might switch my clothes out to film and then I put this outfit right back on. If I go somewhere, this is what I'm wearing. If you see me out and about, this is what I'm wearing. So this half zip, it's not a half zip, it's a full zip. That's why I like it so much. It's a full zip fleece jacket from Amazon and it is so warm and cozy on the inside and outside. Like I just love wearing this. I love how it kind of like stays popped up. You can wear a little tank top underneath and just kind of reveal it a little bit or you can you know, zip it the whole way up or it's just so good. There's pockets, it's slightly 
cropped, but not really cropped. Like some people hate cropped because they're revealing their stomach. It's like the perfect length. I love the color that I picked, but it comes in like 15 other colors. I should probably order another one. The price is amazing. The quality is amazing. Like it is such a good find on Amazon. Now, if I'm wearing this zip up jacket or really anything else, I can almost guarantee you that I'm rocking the flared leggings or yoga pants on the bottom, which I have talked about in recent videos, but I have a different brand that I want to mention today that might be better for some of you. So in the past, I've recommended an Amazon pair, which I stand behind, like I love that pair. I still wear those all the time. They have a nice crossover waistline. Yoga pants or flared leggings, I'm telling you, are just more comfortable than regular leggings and they look great around the house. They look great running errands. They look great with everything, like they're just, amazing, highly recommend them. But if you are taller or shorter, the, this pair from Aerie, which is American Eagles brand, might be a better option for you because you can get them in shorts or longs um, and they still have that same crossover waistline. So my assistant, Katie, she came over recently and she's really tall and she was wearing these, you know, yoga pants. And I'm like, where are those from? Cause like, you're really tall and they look a little bit longer. And so she's the one that told me about these. So I ordered them myself just to test them out before I, I didn't want to recommend anything, uh, but these are really good. So again, if you're taller or shorter, this might be a better option for you, but I will link both the Amazon and the airy version. Now, maybe I should have talked about this next obsession after the body wash because it does involve taking a shower, but it's these fleece bath towels. Guys, have you tried the fleece bath towels? I bet so many of you haven't. A lot of you don't even know these exist, but believe it or not, I've been using these for probably five years. I talked about these on my channel so many years ago and I still love them. The kids have their own, Josh has his own. I mean, I have my own, but I actually just reordered some. They launched them in like a striped version. So I just got white and gray, but you can get them in solid colors. I think when I showed them on my channel so many years ago, it was the beige color. They are the softest bath towels, but the kicker is you get two bath towels that are really large for $23, like the price is amazing, but they are the softest material on your skin and they are incredibly absorbable too. And just the entire towel is like really nicely sewn and lined and then in the center, there's a little loop if you wanna use that to hang it up, even though you don't have to. Tons of colors, different patterns as well. Just humor me and get maybe one pack, two of them again for $23. Just try it out and I bet you'll be hooked. Next, let's talk about my nails because I get a lot of questions about my nails, like whether I use gel or acrylic or dip, which technically is acrylic. And all of that is a no. I actually use what's called Builder gel. It's very different, yet kind of similar to gel. Again, insert my assistant, Katie. She's phenomenal. I don't know what I would do without her now. Like, I love her, but bonus, she's actually a nail tech. Like, uh, like she used to do that. Now she just works with me, but she does my nails like every few weeks and they've never looked better, but she recommends Builder Gel. This is something that comes in like a nail polish bottle. You could do it on yourself. Like, I think she'll do it on herself, but usually this is something you would go to a nail salon and ask for. But it's similar to gel, but it is stronger and it's more flexible and you can build build up your nail without having to grind it down and damage your nail. It, it strengthens them, it nourishes them even. Basically, you just kind of paint it on your nails, it builds it up so it's a super smooth surface, and then you cure it under a nail lamp for literally three seconds, like it's an instant cured thing. And then you can paint whatever color on top you want. I usually go with something neutral today. I just have a pink gel color. It's just so much better, in my opinion, than acrylic. It's better than regular gel because that can start to chip, it's just not as strong, but this doesn't damage your nails at all. And again, my nails have never looked this good. Next, I wanna share a couple food items that I'm obsessed with that are really, really healthy. I definitely like to eat clean, even though I'm not perfect. Uh, so I wanna start with this protein, plant-based protein powder that I found myself. Um, I think it's the best on the market. There's so many that are really, really bad. This only has five ingredients and that is it. Uh, and then with this, I wanna share a muffin mug that I make almost daily with this. 
but it's so delicious, especially if you love chocolate, oh my gosh. But back to this, um, it's called Truvani and it's completely organic, no GMOs. There's only five real ingredients and I do have the vanilla flavor, but you can obviously get chocolate. I mean, it literally checks all of my boxes. There's no soy, there's no GMOs, no gluten, no dairy, no gums. There's no weird like emulsifiers. Like seriously, if you look on the back of, the, of most protein powders, I mean, truly, the list is like this big. This only has five ingredients and it's like chia seed protein, pea protein, pumpkin seed, um, vanilla and monk seed extract, which is, or monk fruit extract, which is like to make it taste a little bit better. It's like a, a good, an actual good sweetener no sugar at all. I love this. I can link this. You can put it in smoothies. You can just add it to like milk or water, but I use it a million different ways, but I have started using it in what I call a muffin mug. And so uh, I made this recipe up myself. In fact, I wouldn't even say it is, it is really a recipe because I just eyeball everything every single day, but I will put like a real recipe down below in the description box if you wanna like really try it out. Here is just a shot of all of the ingredients. So you need some type of flour. Now my personal preference is oat flour, but I will take oatmeal and grind it in my blender until it's like an actual flour consistency, or you could just use almond flour. That's another personal fave. I'll do a little, little bit of this, um, this plant-based protein in there, stir it around. I also like to add cacao powder, raw cacao powder that is a superfood, especially if you like chocolate, that really helps. And then I'll add some um, uh, baking powder just to have it rise a bit so it gets that muffin or cake-like texture. I'll do a little sprinkle of Celtic sea salt or Himalayan sea salt, that really enhances the flavor. And then my liquids are stevia extract. Now, I am not a fan of stevia a lot of cases because a lot of it can be very processed, but this is the only one that I really think is good. It's whole leaf stevia extract. It's not processed whatsoever, but it really gives a nice sweet flavor. But again, it's not gonna spike any blood sugar. It's not sugar, like it, but it is really good. So I can link that if you're interested. And then I will add vanilla extract. That's always a good thing to add. And then some milk. Now I love raw milk. You don't have to use raw milk, but I kind of just eyeball it. I stir it up until it's a nice liquidy mixture. And if I'm feeling really crazy, I'll add some dark chocolate chips with no sugar in them. And that's really good. Now I'll put that in my microwave for 45 seconds. Obviously you're gonna have to kind of guesstimate with your microwave because I feel like mine's kind of powerful. You might have to do it longer, but if, it's, if it doesn't cook the whole way through, I kind of like it a little bit gloopy at the top because it kind of has that molten lava cake texture and there's no egg in this. So you don't have to worry about, you know, cooking the raw egg. Um, but it is such a delicious, healthy treat. It's something I will do after dinner and it's like a dessert, but literally every single ingredient is a really, really healthy whole food um, ingredient. So. I hope you enjoy that. I'll have the recipe down below. All right, guys, let's talk TV shows because some people like movies, some people like reading, some people have all these hobbies. Mine, I love to find a good TV show after the kids go to bed. So I have recommended some in the past and you guys really seem to enjoy it. So I have made another list for you guys to maybe try. So I'm definitely more into like the romance drama type category. I'm not really into like guns and mafia and mobs and killers. Killing. That's not my thing. Outlander was like my show I think I talked about like a year ago and love Outlander. If you haven't watched that, you freaking should. But then this is the one that you have, I'm sure a lot of you have heard about and you've watched it, The Summer I Turned Pretty. If you have not freaking watched The Summer I Turned Pretty, you need to watch that show. But this is the one that I feel like so many of you don't even know exists. I, I did not know, I discovered this literally myself. Um, I was just clicking around deep, 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 deep into streaming things, but it's called The Buccaneers. But I would say it's similar to Bridgerton, you know, which is set in like the 1700s, but it's like, I don't know. I did really like Bridgerton. The Buccaneers is similar, but so good. Oh my gosh, there's like a love triangle and the acting is so good. The whole the whole thing they do is just so good. It is on Apple TV. So check that out if you happen to get that. There is one show that I was so, so into recently. I'm not even gonna say what it is, but the Oh gosh, the whole time I was loving it. And at the very end, 
she died. And I know a lot of you know what I'm talking about. Don't put it in the comments and ruin it for everybody else, but I'm not gonna recommend that one. No, 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 no. I don't like a bad ending and that one was really bad. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Everything that I talked about will be linked down below. Don't forget about Necessaire and my promo code Shay for 15% off all of their products. These are fabulous. Please subscribe if you're new and I'll see you in my next video.